Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany and today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate mirror glaze. Mirror glaze is also known as a glaçage, which is a French word that means icing, frosting, or glaze used to cover a cake. In today's video, I'll show you how to make the glissage as well as pour it over the cake. So let's get started by going over our list of ingredients and supplies that you'll need. And just a reminder, I always link all the supplies that I use in the description box down below. So you'll want to grab a fine metal sieve or sifter, a thermometer, mine is laser, an immersion or stick blender, a nice pitcher or container for pouring, this one came with my immersion blender, a large offset spatula, and a sheet tray, piece of parchment paper, and a cake pan or something smaller than the size of your cake. We'll use this for the pouring. Then go ahead and measure the following ingredients into a large pot. 11 ounces of heavy cream, 6.25 ounces of water, 13 ounces sugar, and 3.5 ounces of glucose. Sift 5.25 ounces of cocoa powder. I'm using Hershey's dark chocolate. With dark chocolate cocoa, the glissage ends up looking almost black. If you want a dark brown look, you can use regular cocoa powder. And then sprinkle two envelopes of gelatin into one half cup cold water. First, you'll heat your cream and glucose mixture over medium heat up to about 210 degrees. Once the mixture is boiling and it's around 210 degrees, you can add the sifted cocoa and stir it until it's combined. Continue heating this mixture until it's boiling. Once the mixture's boiling, remove it from the heat. And when the mix is cooled to around 150 degrees Fahrenheit, add in the bloomed gelatin and stir it until it's smooth. Now you're going to blend your mixture with the stick blender to make sure it's nice and smooth. And just in case there's any little bits left, you're going to pour it through a sieve. And usually by the time you're done blending it and sifting it, it's about ready to pour. You want it to be between 110 to 95 degrees. So before you pour, you want to make sure your assembled cake has a really smooth crumb coat over it and has been chilling in the fridge for at least a couple of hours to make sure it's about as cool as it's going to get. Or you can also use a frozen mousse cake for glazing. Your cake should also have a board on the bottom for structure and go ahead and set it up on something that is narrower than the cake. All right, so by the time you do all the blending and sifting, the glissage is usually pretty close, but right now it's about 112, and it might be warmer underneath, and it looks pretty thin. You don't want it to be too thin when you pour it. Also, <laughs> I got this really full. So I'm going to pour out just a little bit before I pour to make it easier. That'll help get me started without spilling. So I'll just need to wait for this to cool down a little bit, still at 112. All right, the glissage is now at about 105 degrees. So I'm just going to pour it. I start kind of along the edges so that it goes all the way over 
I want to make sure it's covering all the way to the bottom. Now you'll notice that before my chocolate glossage started to set up, I applied a nice golden spiderweb effect to it. That will be covered in my next video, so stick around if you want to learn how to do that. Now once the drips have slowed, you can just use a knife to cut them off. Now I don't like to move the cake immediately to the final plate. I like to put it in the fridge with the edges free so they can set up because it makes it easier to move without accidentally hitting it or bumping it. I'm going to transfer it to another clean cake pan and carefully put it in the fridge for at least an hour to set up before I move it to the final um, cake stand. All right, here is our very shiny dark chocolate mirror glazed cake. Don't forget to click the link in the description box down below to download all the recipes you'll need to make this cake. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by giving it a like down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. And if you'd like to learn something else that sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thank you so much for watching today and I will see you soon. Bye.